Jorge, que la dictará John, y lleva por título Moviasist. John es director general de Ipsum Technologies, una empresa social que se enfoca a crear oportunidades para personas con discapacidad para desarrollarse en la creciente economía digital. Posee un grado de bachillerato en ingeniería, ingeniería mecánica y un grado de maestría en tecnologías para energías renovables y ha ganado diversos premios por emprendimiento en innovación social en competencias locales, regionales e internacionales. En 2018 obtuvo el primer lugar en la Conferencia de América Accesible de ITU en Montego Bay, Jamaica, con la idea Moviasis. Eh, damos la bienvenida entonces a Sean Melville. El, Fernando, el dispositivo. Buenos días, everyone. Good morning. My name is Sean Melville, and I'm the co-founder and managing director of Ipsum Technologies. Today, I want to present to you a project that we've been working on called the Mobius Assist. And the goal of the Mobius Assist is really to improve the quality of lives for persons who are blind by providing them with the ability to navigate on their own. So just to give you a little bit of background on Mobiasis and uh, my company. Uh, so my company, we focus on digital accessibility and assistive technologies, and we want to create opportunities for persons with disabilities to be able to get access to technology. There's a video here. Uh, mm -hmm. video. <coughs> How do I get this video? Okay. Hay un video en uno de los slides. Un momentito. Yes. One of the issues with respect to persons with vision impairment is the feeling of being independent. And one of the things that makes a person with vision impairment feel independent is the ability to move about on their own. The cane has been around for quite a long time. However, it has some challenges to go with it. For example, a cane can let me know if there's an obstacle directly to the left or to the right, but it depends on if it's on the ground. But what about if it's in the sky? like a low-hanging branch or an open door. My name is Marlon Parejo, and with me is Sean Melville, and we represent Ipsum Technology. We come to you with a device called Mobi Assist that will greatly assist persons with vision impairment to be able to avoid obstacles that are in their way. But to speak about the numbers and stuff with respect to this wonderful product is my friend, Sean Melville. All right, great. Okay. So you would have just heard from my co-founder, Mar Mr. Marlon Parejo, Marlon Pereira is totally blind, and uh, well, five years ago I met with him and uh, we co-founded the company. Now Marlon presented this idea at a competition called Startup Weekend, and uh, he came to me and he said, well, I'm blind, and uh, in his jovial way he says, I can't see past my nose, I need something to help me navigate. And so we actually worked together at that event and c created a concept called Mobi Assist and we were able to then win that competition and uh, we submitted the concept to a local grant com uh, competition and we won that and we were able to build a prototype. So I'm gonna show you the prototype a little bit later on in the presentation, but I just wanted to give you an idea of some of the things that Marlon talks about. So if you are blind, and I don't know if anybody here has family members who are blind, if you could probably show me by um, raising your hands, 
to let me know if you know someone or if you have a family member who is blind. Anybody? Okay, excellent. So people who are blind have a great difficulty being able to navigate, among other things. For example, identifying text, um, being able to uh, find, um, know who their friends are, etc. And so what we're trying to do is to solve one of those problems, which is the navigational issue. So to give you an idea of the scale of this uh, challenge that we are tackling here, there are 39 million people around the world who are totally blind. And what we've realized is that most of these persons live in developing countries, for example, India and China. And so it means that most of the population live in poor countries. And uh, that also presents a challenge. So I mentioned previously that the blind and visually impaired persons have great challenges navigating daily. Those challenges are especially um, true when you're navigating outdoors because you have to deal with road conditions, uh, you have to deal with changing environments. So for example, if you are crossing the street, the, you have to know how to navigate the vehicles, you have to know how to navigate people, and so the current uh, technology, and I use the word technology loosely here, is the use of what we call the cane. So the cane is a device that helps to extend the reach of the person who is blind so that they can actually feel what's in the environment and be able to detect what is in front of them a few steps ahead. What we are doing with this is we want to replace the cane by allowing for someone who is blind to use technology to be able to detect obstacles within about uh, three to 10 feet in front of them. Why three to 10 feet? Because we don't want to bombard them with too much information on their surroundings. So we work together and identify what is the main amount of information that needs to be provided. And so we know that uh, up to 10 feet is the most important. So to give you a little bit of a background, um, although there are persons who are comfortable um, traveling, there are a number of persons who are blind who are very comfortable, I and mean, you may know a few of them, there's still a large population of persons who require some as assistance, and so they're very scared to get out of their homes, especially when they become blind, and so we're trying to assist those persons with our technology. So we looked at the market and we know that there are a number of other products out there. Most of those products uh, work on either GPS, uh, beacon technology, or NFC. And so they don't really and truly help you to, to navigate obstacles. They just tell you where you are and give you some information about what's in your surroundings. So what we're trying to do is to be able to help with that particular issue, which is what the, the cane is used for. But we're also looking at how we can utilize some of these additional technologies to increase the, I would say, the intelligence of the system. So instead of just knowing, okay, what's in front of you, or there's something in front of you, knowing where you are, what's in front of you, and being able to navigate around those obstacles to get there. And so just to kind of briefly call out a couple of those technologies, there's right here, which uses beacons. There's VizWiz, there's Blind Square, which is more like a GPS-based application. Beam Our Eyes uses video for someone to look. Um, someone else on the other side of the camera is able to then, through a video chat, uh, tell the person what is in front of them and give them information. For example, you're trying to, you want to identify that this is a, a bottle of um, soft drink versus, you know, a, a bottle of disinfectant. So this is the ICT solution. So the Mobius prototype utilizes an array of sensors 
And uh, if you look at a picture, you will see me holding the device, which I have here as well. And uh, you'll see my colleague to my, my right and my left. And so the Mobius Assist prototype, essentially, it uses a array of ultrasonic sensors. It processes the feedback in terms of the distances collected by these sensors, uh, processes it using a microprocessor, communicates back to a cell phone using Bluetooth, and then provides uh, feedback to the person who is using the device uh, via a text-to-speech library. So I will show you in a little moment a demo of my co-founder, Marlon Prey using the device. So this is just another uh, close-up picture of what the device looks like. Uh, I've separated the uh, sensor array from the rest of the electronics. And you'll see a microprocessor board, um, a microchip. you also see a Bluetooth module on it. And where those wires are coming out from the device, it's actually connected to some vibration motors that uh, help to create a tactile feedback. So someone can actually get an idea of what's in front of them. If they can't hear or in an environment where it's, which is noisy, they can still use the vibrations to be able to detect um, which side is blocked. So just to give you a little bit of an idea about the mobile application, this device was built roughly around four years ago, so we still have some of the older um, Android technologies. We have Android Studio 1.4. Um, we worked with um, the API 15, and uh, in terms of the, we worked with a, a version ice cream sandwich. So it's, it's pretty old, but at the same time, what we're trying to do here is to demonstrate the concept of what is what could be done with technology to help people who are blind. So could you play the video for me, please? So this is a demonstration video that will show, for instance, my Marlon Perio navigating an obstacle course, and uh, you will get to see him uh, bounce into a couple of things, but more, for the most part, he's able to get around most of the obstacles. So what you're seeing here is an obstacle course that we've set up at the Electrical Engineering Laboratory at the University of the West Indies. You'll see Marlon navigating around a number of styrofoam obstacles and he's using the Mobi Assist device to gather information about what's in front of him. So the device then says to Marlon, which, uh, through his Bluetooth headset, that he is um, either his left or his right is blocked and he needs to, to turn around and navigate to a different location. So in, at this point in time, Marlon is actually walked into a corner and he's trying to figure out how to get around and get out of that space. And he's using the device, it's, it's of course, it's, he's had some challenges, but as you can see, he at this point in time is not using his cane. And so it, Basically, it demonstrates that it is possible for someone who is blind yeah. to navigate and to move around within a, a space that's not too cluttered without having to use the cane. I must say it was difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So, I'd like to end my presentation by say, saying that the only thing worse than being blind is having sight but no vision by Helen Keller. Now, as a child, I grew up reading about Helen Keller, and she was very inspirational because she was both deaf and blind. And one of the things that we will learn over a period of time is that people who have disabilities aren't necessarily less capable than everyone else. It's just that they need opportunities, and sometimes they need to be supported 
by technology in order to have access to the same opportunities that we have here. And um, I know it's a, it's a challenge at times, especially if it is that we're balancing budgets to accommodate persons with disabilities, but I would like to make an open call for us to work on a few more projects that could really improve and impact the lives of persons with disabilities in a way that uh, creates opportunities for all of us and not just a few of us. So I'm going to end my presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you a lot, Sean. We invite you to ask Sean questions or comments during the break in honor of time. So thank you very much, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, with this.